The uh, best game yesterday. He did, going very well. The, the race for the finals, of course, is, uh, is sensational. But uh, the team that's fallen so far, Port Adelaide, now there's some big questions about them. They were two games clear not so long ago at the top of the ladder. Now, perhaps they could even have their spot in September in doubt. So the biggest question of all is what has gone wrong? That's what footy is. If, you, if your form drops off, you get, you know, you get asked the questions. In the open and honest discussion we, we I just had with the boys about all because we were on a quick turnaround, um, you know, the questions I'm going to get asked are those sort of questions. What, what's happened? What's gone wrong? We've just dropped off a, a little bit and I said our confidence has been dinted and we've now got to figure out a way to get that back because that's what happens. What we've done is uh, got ourselves into some poor form and lost a lot of confidence I reckon because of that and that's coming out in the way we're playing now. That's not easy to recover but it's something you just got to keep working at. If they start looking back and start picking each other apart, their season will be over. They've got a really tough way home. They need to keep a positive attitude on this year. Rightly or wrongly, uh, people who are continually not playing at the level, they, they put themselves at risk, not me. It's, they, they make that choice and my responsibility is to reward the people who are in consistently putting up good form. Did your program go too hard too early? Yeah, I had, the, had that discussion with uh, the boys inside. That, that's one of the. I thought straight away one of the questions would be, "We're running out of steam." I don't think we're running out of steam. I think it's a long season. It's hard work, and you know we we've got lots of work to do. And but I don't think we've gone too hard. I, don't, I totally believe in what we've done. I think it's fine. As a footy club, we have to answer that challenge now that it's rightly put upon us. We've got to show that whether we're we're up for the the challenge and keep going for another four plus weeks, whatever that might be. You know, we there's no bigger challenge than next week for us, which is a good thing probably. So Ken Hinckley's given his view on there on a number of the questions. What about yours? Have they been found out? Is it, is it fitness? Is it just confidence? I can't give that answer. You know why? Because Ken Hinckley doesn't know the answer. Yeah. He's gone back and said it's confidence. So he's, he's actually glass half full. Guys, it's not what the opposition are doing to us. It's what we've done to ourselves, which is not bad. That's, that's in-house building up. So that's how he's attacked it. Do you buy it? Yeah, I do. But... But they've got some players who are down. And there's no, there's no greater person down at Port Adelaide than Chad Wingard. Like, he, he is down. And he's got to get it. He hasn't really had an influence for five weeks, which is a long time for a guy of his talent. But it's not just Chad Wingard. You know, I think that we're doing something in the Herald Sun this week about the players who have dropped off at Port Adelaide. Might yeah. even be going in tomorrow's boat. It's quite substantial. Mm. But the Jared same, Pollock was yeah, Jared Pollock is not going. as dangerous. Loby didn't do much yesterday. Um, you know, even Travis Bokes dropped off a little bit, and, and he's a champ. Just can I just get you to have a look at that? We just put that run home up again. They only need one more win. Pinard's another one. Pinard, yeah. Pinard's another one. They only need one more win, just to make sure they make the eight. Sydney trouble. Richmond, who knows? No, not Richmond. Gold Coast. Oh, see, I told you my eyes were gone. So it's Sydney first, then Gold Coast at Metricon, then Carlton, Carlton at the Adelaide. Adelaide. The Blues are a wild card. They play all these teams that are fighting no, for the they're, they're going to be dangerous. And then Fremantle at Patterson. So, look, I, I'm, I'm, think, I'm sure they'll win one of those four, but they You're have to. You're not confident, to. though. Who knows? The way they're playing, who knows? Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. And, and you're right about working them out. You know, we, we sit here and talk about the game. We have coaches and assistant coaches full-time assessing how do we break down this team. Mm. Now, if you look at them, as I said, against Collingwood, Buckley did a really terrific job. Stop their run. Stop yeah. their run. And, and, and pressure, pressure, pressure. And it was immense. That's what they've got to do. Pressure. We talk about it every yeah. week, I don't. They can't, pressure. They can't move the ball out of defence the way they were, though. They seem, their exits seem to be blocked. So it's a, it's a massive challenge. One thing, the other wild card in all of this is the illnesses they suffered at the weekend. Two players in hospital, Jared Redden yeah. and John Butcher. And uh, Matthew Broadbent uh, spoke to the media about it today. We wouldn't have taken the boys in if, if, they, if they weren't right to play. Um, Obviously, it's not, not a great thing for the club, but we'll, we'll work through it and hopefully the boys can get better and, um, yeah, we'll, we'll work through it. What's the update on Butcher? Uh, and Butcher's still in hospital. I, th I think he's tracking all right, but, um, and, and Redo's the same, but he's still getting more tests done to find out exactly what's going on with him. But, um, yeah, hopefully they should be right. So viral meningitis is, is the word, so, which is a... You know much about it? Well, it's a pretty serious illness. Sounds, it sounds very serious. And and I'm not being flippant No, there. it is. I and don't it, know what it means. And the uncertainty of, of how to treat, treat uh, viruses, it's, it can be very difficult. It can hang around for a it very long time. It can affect your spine, I heard today, right. or read today. Okay, well, it, it can is not good. affect a lot of things. Robbie Gray certainly looked like he was crook oh, yesterday. 
Yeah, so did, that is a did. concern. But, and uh, they play Sydney on Saturday. Well, they play they? Sydney on Saturday, and that's one of the big problems for them, of course. The Swans, uh, after their loss the week before against Hawthorne, came back with a victory against Essendon without Buddy Franklin, but it looks like he'll be there this weekend.